Hi, this is Steve Prisky. Um, I've been asked by a couple of people to uh, show how I rig the dead eyes on, on tall ship models. So I'm going to take a couple minutes here and uh, show exactly how I've rigged the uh, dead eyes on one of the tops of the HMS Snake ship model right here. And we'll take a look right Here's the foremast. And I've taken and prepared one side. But the trick here, of course, is uh, exactly how to rig and thread dead eyes easily because it can be somewhat of a pain since you've got three holes on each one of the dead eyes. And uh, you don't want to always have to be reaching around to the back side to the, of the dead eye to try to rig all of them. So I figured out a way where I can rig the uh, dead eyes all from one side except for just one of them, one of the six holes. And so let me show you how. Now, of course, this is what I'm going to be doing as I'm going to eventually have a dead eye that's going to be rigged like this. But instead of starting as is always done in instructions with number one hole and going down and up and down like this, I'm actually going to start with the bottommost center hole right here. And I'm going to start with that one from the outside pushing through and then going backwards two holes and then I'll go forward the rest of the way. Let me show you how. Okay, now I've got my uh, dead eyes in front of me secured and taking my cordage that's going to be used for the ratlins or the foot ropes in the appropriate scale compared of course to the standing rigging which is much thicker and I've laid some wax on it now as I said what I'm going to do is thread through the bottom center hole first on the bottom of the two dead eyes and I'm going to do this from the outside from the outside going to the end so I don't have to be looking on the back side at all and that's that's part of the trick that'll make this a lot easier is uh, not having to look around the back side when rigging these dead eyes um, make sure that you always ream out the holes of dead eyes with a very fine little drill bit that's going to make threading it a whole lot easier and as I just did now I really quickly trimmed off the end of the line because that'll also make it uh, go through the holes of the dead eye that much easier now now, I, now I'm going to take the uh, the top dead eye which has been rigged to the, uh, the shroud that's going to hold it in place and this I can easily manipulate turn it around so again I don't have to look behind it and so I'm going to rig the lower forward hole and then um, the lower forward hole on the lower of the two dead eyes. Now this is the one that you're going to tie a knot behind it once it's uh, once I get this rigged through there's a large knot that's tied behind it because this is a dead end line right here. So may have to pause the camera while I take a few minutes to tie up this knot and see how fast I can do this. And then after you tie off this knot, I make about four turns on the cord and then uh, add just a touch of glue, tie it off. Once that's dried in that hole, then I'll continue the rest of the rigging of this dead eye. There's three. Let me stop the camera for a second. Okay, so I have a good fat little knot right here that I'll be using as my dead end point or what would normally be hole number one if you rig it as they show in the uh, plans on ship models. I can push that through. So now I'm going up to the top one. So now I'm already up to hole number four and I haven't had to look, haven't had to turn the uh, piece around at all. It's only going to be one of the uh, six holes that you have to look behind the model in order to rig. So that takes a lot of the trouble out of doing this. Actually can make it fun this way. Alright. Probably need to put a little bit more wax in the end of this. And if you ever have a problem just trim off a little bit more of the tip because the tips of these rigging lines often get blunted as you push them through. Okay, so stay in place there. Okay, so now this next one, 
is the only tricky one in the whole operation and so sometimes if you can't get it from behind try once or twice oops, I got it in the first try but if you can't get it once or twice then you might have to uh, turn the piece over or look around from the other side but as you see so far I haven't had to look behind this piece at all in order to rig these dead eyes now I'm on the last one once I get this done then I'll be able to hold down on it quite tightly and make sure that it's exactly the same as the one on the other side before I tie it off. I've got a little too much leader on here. stress off of it when I'm tightening down on my now that I've got the uh, tension and the, and the space rather properly set between this set of dead eyes on the far side that have already been rigged and this side here so they match up right I can tie this off and always tie it off to the aftmost side rather than the forward side Once this is tied off, I'll put just a little dab of glue on there to secure the knot. Now you see this aft line right here? It should come down right on the outside of this lower dead eye, just like it shows right there, like that. Let's put one more tiny knot in here. Make sure not to put too many knots in here because you don't want it to get too bulky by scale. Okay, I had to change the film cartridge. Okay. Now as I was saying, after I Tie this off twice, just a couple of small knots, put a little, just a little tiny dab of glue on there to hold that. But after working all of these and, and applying the ratlins, which will be the next step, there's going to be an awful lot of glue showing, as we can see on the mizzen mast here. So once you trim all of the uh, ratlins off, I also recommend taking a uh, diluted wash of flat black paint and just as they would on the real ships you sort of tar tar all of the standing rigging line and that will add, add a little bit of bulk because it will fill in on some of the corner joints and places like that and then, uh, hopefully if it's done right you'll end up with a nice set of shrouds with the properly rigged dead eyes and all of them rigged without having to constantly turn the piece around and turn it around in order to rig these six lines six holes you can do it all from the one side start again on the lower bottom middle one go out up to the top forward to the bottom forward tie off your knot pick up your piece of line and continue going to the back one